Hello everyone. Welcome to the Learning Express YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'll tell you about Communication and Signal Processing Branch, that is CSP. And also we can say it's uh, SPCOM, but I have cut it down. Signal Processing and Communication. So first of all, in introduction part, I have to mention about the number of students, then curriculum work, project work, and after that industrial support and placements. So when you talk about the industry, uh, student, the this year the intake was around 30 and currently there are 25 people. So if I talk about the curriculum work, and then I can say this is the course work or you can say curriculum work. So basically there are the list of the core courses and electives here. So the purpose of listing down these all the courses here, you can understand what exactly the curriculum work is going to be here and what should be your idea or what we what should be your perspective before joining this branch because this uh, branch is uh, majorly focusing toward the uh, the wireless communication or the communication part only so we have to be very careful with this thing that you are going to expect a much environment around the communication and signal processing only so this is the list of a few courses uh, that is uh, wireless communication, communication network, then some advanced courses like SSP that is a statistical uh, signal processing and advanced digital communication. This is a very important subject that we already done in uh, that uh, electronics people already done in uh, get information theory and coding is also very important thing here. And after that, you can uh, select uh, the courses of your choices from the elective list. So there are a few important electives that I have mentioned here. Uh, after discussion with the, the students of this branch, or currently my batchmates. So the digital signal processing is very important here because ultimately the name of the branch suggests the signal processing. So here the digital signal processing is important. And uh, under this, uh, we have to deal with some uh, some standard uh, Fourier transforms like fast Fourier transform, uh, discrete uh, time Fourier, uh, Fourier transform and all. So this is the important subject. After that, the filter designing and filter analysis. In the next, we can say digital voice and picture communication, secure communication, adaptive signal processing and DSA. So DSA is uh, elective here, uh, not necessary. Elective is something that you want to do. So DSA is not that important here. Or can say coding is not that important here, but the communication is really important here. So all the subjects listed down here are related to the communication or are revolving around the communication only. Now, if I talk about the project work, basically here that the name of the branch suggests is uh, more about the communication. So wireless communication you can expect here. The project's work is around the communication part, signal processing part, and these are the few domains uh, where your projects are going to be uh, revolve around. And all the projects are good to support. This is a note I have mentioned here. All the projects are good to support uh, the profiles needed by industry. So basically, person who is interested in to build their profile in, in this particular domain uh, of communication engineering and uh, uh, signal processing, uh, they can uh, uh, join this branch without any kind of confusion. But if someone is interested in, I have listed down three points with the three stars. So these are the important points. No VLSA related project is here. So one thing must be clear in your minds. If you want to join this branch, uh, just um, as a name of college, uh, so, so you cannot do like this. If you want to join this branch and really want to do work in this domain of the industry, that is a communication and a signal processing, then it is going to really, it, then it is going to work here. Otherwise, if you have any uh, pre-thinking that if you are thinking that uh, you can build your VLSI profile after joining this, then this is, this is going to be a mistake. Because here you are not going to get any, you can say, uh, course work or any project work related to the VLSI. Uh, there is some information that uh, one, two electives you might get. So I have listed down here, one, two electives you might get related to the VLSI, like the VLSI interconnect was an option, uh, as I discussed with the uh, batchmates. So if one, two electives is not going to help you for building your VLSA profiles. Be aware of this thing. So, and yeah, I have mentioned here, no VLSA related projects and no VLSA related coursework. Electives may be there, one, two electives may be there, but it is not going to help you. 
And after that, if I come to the placements, then this is the list of the companies which is the CEO and uh, Qualcomm, NVIDIA, TI, Samsung, Intel, and XP Semiconductors, and uh, Max Linear. HQ is a startup that is also taking people from this branch and uh, Mathwork, Sankhya, Steradion, Semiconductors. So these are a few companies listed this year and placements are very good. So the basically I can say roles uh, or can say profiles offered by the companies are around the wireless communication or the signal processing. And uh, in the other, these are uh, all the semiconductor companies, but the profiles are different. The, the people of this branch can also opt for the other um, uh, profiles. And, and this is a very common thing in Qualcomm or NVIDIA or TI, Samsung, Intel, the profiles are open, analog devices. So profiles are open for the people of this branch. VLSI profile is also open. So you can apply for the VLSI, but for that you have to build a VLSI profile by your own. This curriculum work and project work is not going to help you to build your VLSI profile. So if a person want to uh, do something in VLSI domain and joining this branch, then it is uh, it is on your own risk because you have to prepare uh, according to you. You will get the opportunity to sit into the VLSI profile or to sit for the VLSI profile. It might be that you might not get that much priority here, uh, but you will definitely uh, can fill uh, this VLSI profile while you are applying for the placements in these companies. So basically the, so these are the companies and roles of what I have mentioned is the wireless and signal processing, but you might, uh, yeah, you may also work as a, uh, as a VLSI engineer here, but the problem I mentioned here is that you don't have a pre built uh, profile here. Then the placement is created last year is that 18 students were there in the, there in this branch and all are placed. So all are placed. The average practice is uh, above 15 LPA. So no, no need to worry about it. Uh, so these all are placed in their core work, not uh, around in the VLSI. I think uh, no one is in the VLSI. Uh, all are placed around their communication part and signal processing part. So highest practice offered this year was 49.5 LP. That was the Qualcomm. So this was the highest practice for the multimedia profile, I think. So in this uh, particular branch, uh, I can say the uh, before telling about the prerequisites, I can say here some, uh, yeah, you will get a good opportunity to do help, good lab works here. Signal processing labs are also there. So the curriculum work is designed like this. The professors are very good. They are really going to help you. And the curriculum work is structured like that. You will be, uh, you will be helped by, uh, by, uh, by this work why this curriculum is structured automatically this is designed like this so no need to worry about it if you want to join it you can join it and but your interest should be in this in this area only you cannot expect much thing about the vlsi domain here so the prerequisites are as i mentioned here the strong foundation of mathematics is very important because ultimately you are going to deal with some statistical things here so in mathematics the probability and linear algebra is very important i i have to highlight it so basically here in this branch, we use the probability in terms of distributions. I, I think uh, many of you know this distribution, right? The Gaussian distribution and uh, or can say a binary distributions and various probability distributions are important or can say higher probabilities are important here. Linear algebra is also important. From the information theory and coding, you can expect some good uh, terminologies here like entropy and uh, uh, mutual entropy like terms here. So again, I can say that probability and linear algebra is very important for this particular thing. So you have to be strong with this thing, not as strong, then you must have the basic idea because here they are going to start here. Professor are going to start their things above that, whatever the level you have. So please be aware of it. And DSP is very important here. So you must be aware of the transforms like Laplace transform, Fourier transform and all the transforms, FFT, DTFT, DFT, all are important here. So you must have the idea before joining this branch. So DSP is important for placements mainly. This is a, this this thing I got from the the students of this branch. DSP is important for placements mainly, but probability is very important for coursework. So DSP should have the idea, but not that much required here. But uh, it is asked. Uh, it is usually asked in placements. So yeah, but the probability is very important throughout this uh, curriculum work. The probability is important, and MATLAB is also important. You should have the idea of MATLAB probably. And uh, after that, uh, one course that I mentioned, the video lecture course on a YouTube, 
that is the probabilistic system analysis and applied probability. So one must do this course before joining this plan. This is the MIT video lecture course on YouTube. So now I should recap it. So in the coursework, I have mentioned that all the coursework is around revolving around the communication part. Coding is not that important here. You have an option to take the elective like DSC. And after that, the project work that I mentioned here, no VLS related project, no VLS related coursework here. So please be aware of this thing because many people are going to join the, uh, many branches um, uh, with respect to uh, like VLSI domain. They are thinking to build their VLSI profile. So this thing is not easy here. And after the replacements, the company visited a role software and previous year placement status or this year placement status, I can say. And uh, after that prerequisites, that is a very important part. And this coursework is very important. So before join this, please revise your uh, basic signals and uh, DSP things. And uh, apart from this, this course is very important. So I think this thing is enough for this, uh, this particular. And if you have any uh, uh, confusion or if you have any doubt, you can clear it by putting comment in this description of this video or by connecting with me on LinkedIn. So thank you. This is enough for this.